In this video, we're going to use partial quotients to solve division problems when there's a two-digit divisor. Let's make a story problem out of this. Pretend we have 952 Skittles, and we have 28 people we're going to give Skittles to. Our quotient would be, how many Skittles does each person get? Well, if I was actually doing this in real life, I'd pass out large portions of Skittles to each person to make this go quicker, instead of passing out one at a time. In fact, if I was doing this problem, I'd probably hand out maybe 10 Skittles each to, uh, each person, which would mean I handed out 280 total Skittles. If I handed out 280 total Skittles, I would have used up 280 of my 952, leaving me with 672 Skittles left. Well, I could probably pass out 10 Skittles each to each person again. So again, that would use up 280 Skittles, leaving this time 392 Skittles left. Hey, I could pass out 10 Skittles to each person again. So I again use up 280 Skittles, leaving 112 Skittles left. Now I cannot pass out 10 Skittles to each person because I don't have 280 Skittles. I have 112. So maybe this time I could pass out a different number. Um, let's say I could pass out maybe three Skittles to each person. Well, let's do some math on the side. If I pass out three Skittles to each person, that'd be 28 times three. That'd be 84 total Skittles. We could do that. So let's pass out 84 total Skittles, which is three to each person. Leaving us with 28 Skittles left. Hey, that's perfect. With 28 Skittles left, I can pass out one Skittle to each person, using up my remaining 28 Skittles. So I have zero Skittles left. Now the only thing we need to do is to figure out how many Skittles each person really got. Well, the first round we pass out 10, then we pass out 10 more, then 10 more, then three, then one. If we add up all those numbers together, we'd have our quotient. Well, 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30, and 3 plus 1 is 4, so your quotient is 34. By using partial quotients, you can easily pass out a friendly number like 10 to make your math very simple. I hope you enjoyed my video on partial quotients. If you enjoy what you see, please subscribe to my channel and look for more content. Thank you.